show everyone how to uh, have access, how to, how to hop onto that page. Because it's, it's actually, in my opinion, much easier than even funneling through Facebook and trying to find um, the workouts. So um, before we get started, um, uh, moving forward, um, instead of the live workouts, um, I am going to grant uh, all members access um, to a different workout uh, uh, channel. And I have 10 different channels in the Premier Workout um, uh, online uh, demand page. Um, and I will notify you all, I'll have a system of course, um, to let you all know which channel will be um, active and open for you guys to have access to during which month. So right now, everyone has access to uh, Empower and you will always have access to the DMB. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share the screen um, and I'm going to uh, show you how to access that. And I don't know if I shared the right screen. Uh, are you guys seeing the, you guys are seeing text messages, right? So let's go back to this. Okay. So what you do is you basically just go on to um, my website and uh, you do have to create a login to be able to log on because obviously this isn't open to everybody. So um, make sure that you log in. Um, if you have not done this part yet or you are confused about this, uh, then let me know. Loyal members, you don't have to do anything. You should uh, already have a login, but if you don't remember what that is, um, you just have to reset it. Um, and you go up here to uh, GFN Workouts. Um, you all have access to the Empower page. Now, if you are not a member of Ignite, then you can't get on all of these other channels except for just the DMB. Everyone has access to DMB. Um, and like I said, everyone has access to Empower. So you just click on here and here they all are. And I just put up this one. Um, it's brand new and I actually uh, almost gave myself a stroke during, during it today. It's really good. <laughs> I'm like, it's really good. Um, so there's, there's uh, eight of them um, and you can just funnel through them all uh, and play around with them. And, and in three weeks, I'm gonna change it so that you guys will have access to uh, Evolve. Um, and then in three weeks, you could switch to that. And then obviously you all know that you do get a free month um, and I encourage you all to uh, try the, the, the free month because then you'll have access to all of them. Um, but I do wanna show you the DMBs because there's seven of them now and they are great. They're three minutes um, and you really don't need uh, a whole lot of equipment, if any. Um, they're three minutes long and you are literally just moving DMB. and grooving for, you. for three yeah. minutes. So this one here, it was a paper bag that we use to slide on the floor. And it was just enough to create that resistance needed to get the butt burning. So for the DMBs, I try really um, cautiously to uh, only use equipment that uh, you can find around the house. So I wouldn't have you grab a kettlebell. I wouldn't have you grab um, you know, cables if you don't have them. So anybody can do these DMBs at any time because they're, they're, they're that versatile and they're all three minutes. Um, when do you do these? Whenever you want. Um, you could do these when you don't have time to work out. You can do them uh, in addition to a day that you have uh, a workout going on. Um, you could do three of them on a day and make them a workout. Um, there's really no wrong answer um, in this at all. Okay, so that is how you access that. Um, and then of course, if you go on to the Get You Great Member page, um, if you are logged on, um, I have uh, created a link here to the old live workouts. If you go to live workouts and tips. Okay, it should take us there. And it didn't, I must fix that. Um, it, 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 it was supposed to, Okay, I gotta fix that. Um, take you to um, 
the, all the live workouts, but obviously I've linked it to the wrong thing, but it'll, it will take you to um, a separate page where I've put just the, uh, the live workouts and they're all together. So you can't miss them. There it is. I just have to relink it. Um, so instead of looking on Facebook, uh, these are all here and these are all always available to you, whether you remember or not. Okay. Um, but you do need to uh, log in. Okay. Uh, and, and what I mean by member, I mean member of the workout channel. You do have to be a member of uh, Get You Great to, to access these. Okay. So I will fix that link. All righty. So back to this. All right, so if if um, I'm look, kind of looking at the attendance here, and it looks like a lot of you are tier one people. Um, I do have some some tier twos and 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 further on. Um, so I did a presentation uh, last quarter on uh, sustainable splurges, and this one is is similar, but I, I try not to repeat the presentations. Um, and so this one is about a cheat and a treat. And um, it is also very similar to the sustainable splurge, um, but I, I am also going to discuss um, some aspects of what is the difference between a healthy treat um, and what is really just a cheat. So we're gonna talk about two different things. Um, we're gonna talk about how can you have um, a sustainable splurge, meaning um, it was just Mother's Day, we have uh, another holiday coming up with, with Memorial Day, kicked off, uh, kicking off the rest of the summer, um, and you might want to enjoy something. Um, our mind sometimes goes to cheat meal. Um, that was a really big thing in the day um, to allow yourself a day of cheat. Um, and I am not uh, fond of that. I don't, I don't advise that you do that. Um, but then there's also the, the, the issue of going online and going to the grocery store and picking something off the shelf that is a healthy treat. Um, and many of you um, that have been with me long enough now know the difference between um, a healthy treat and what it is really actually just junk food. Um, and so I want to, I want to talk about that difference because that is a huge derailment. Um, when people buy the Greek yogurt that has the M&M sprinkles on top, um, you know, yes, that, that is a little healthier than having just a Snicker bar, of course, but are you really helping yourself lose weight? Um, from a health standpoint, absolutely. You're getting yogurt, you're getting um, vitamins, you're getting protein, but you're still getting calories, you're still getting sugar, and it's still not going to help you when it comes to weight loss. Um, same thing goes with sodium levels. Um, you might be hitting everything perfectly, but your sodium might be in the 4,000s or 5,000s. And so um, is it a, is it a a treat, is it a cheat? Which one is it? So we're gonna kind of talk about both things. And basically um, the big picture of tonight's message is awareness. Um, because with this program, I think the bottom line is um, a lot of the weight loss that, that comes from um, this program is awareness. Um, it, it's of course what you have on your plate, but it boils down to knowing the difference between what you should have and what, what you shouldn't have. Um, so I am going to share my screen again um, and bring you back to uh, a really quick presentation. It's actually not very long um, because I'd like to leave uh, time for questions on this one. Um, Cause I do, I do have a little bit of uh, time or a little segment in here um, where I discuss restaurants. And I know last week we talked about fast food restaurants. Um, tonight I have more of a um, of a dine-in restaurant. So cheat versus treat. Um, don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. And so the word cheat comes kind of in, in two forms. Um, you could be cheating yourself in two ways. 
Um, you might be cheating yourself by not giving yourself a treat, by being too strict on your diet, by um, you know going out to dinner and constantly ordering a salad um, and depriving yourself. Um, but you also might be cheating yourself in ordering a salad, thinking that that salad is the best choice for you when in a reality that salad has more calories and less protein um, and more unhealthy fat than the chicken sandwich. So, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. You're cheating yourself um, in, in two ways. But then there's also the cheat where people full-fledged knowingly go into a situation, I am cheating tonight's the night. <laughs> so, so we're going to kind of cover, cover all the bases. Okay. So, um, is it a treat or is it a cheat? So these are some of the things that we're going to kind of talk about tonight. The difference between a treat and a cheat, um, the dangers of cheat meals. Um, and, uh, I, I would say in the early two thousands, uh, the fitness industry and nut nutrition industry really pushed have a cheat meal. Um, they pushed the, the concept of um, load your body with, with you know, calories and, and fat and carbs um, because your metabolism needs it. And this, this concept went viral. And um, there's a lot of uh, Hollywood um, personalities that still go by this. The Rock, for example, he's, he's a famous wrestler, now a... Um, an actor and we've all seen him. Um, obviously he's got a lot of muscle mass. Someone like him might be able to have a full fledged cheat day and it won't affect him. Someone like me who weighs 115 pounds, if I were to have a full fledged cheat day like him once a week, um, I would not be able to maintain my size. So, so what works for somebody that is a professional wrestler might not work for somebody that is trying to lose weight. Um, so, so that whole concept of cheating um, is, is created this image where when you go on a diet, you get a cheat day. And it, it's not as common anymore, um, but I was always asked, it would be like three days in, people would text me and say, when do I get my cheat day? <laughs> and I would think to myself, you just got off of, a, of like a cheat year. You just started this, you know, so um, so I, I I try not to use cheat. It's it it's a it's a splurge. If you're gonna have a, a, a something that you want, it's a splurge. It's not a cheat um, because of the negative connotations it brings. Um, pitfalls of healthy treats. Again, the yogurt with the M and M crunchies on top, um, or the uh, granola bars that are actually a glorified Twix bar. Uh, misconceptions and myths of healthy foods. Um, I have some get you fit characters I'm gonna bring um, bring out and introduce to you. And my bottom line to today's lesson is no log, brain fog. Um, when it comes to treats, when it comes to splurges, if you don't log, it's a fog. I mean, that is just the bottom line because these aren't foods that we're familiar with, and they're typically higher in calories. Um, they're typically very dense, um, and we aren't familiar with them. And uh, a little goes a long way as far as calories go. So always, always log them um, because otherwise it's a fog. And, and that, that is where it will catch up to you. Um, and time and time again, I will ask people um, who are having a hard time losing weight. Well, did you log the weekend? No. And you'll meet one of the characters here that um, is a perfect example of that, of, of why. Um, this is a, an example of a pitfall of a healthy treat. The chickpea cookie dough bites. Um, it is perfectly healthy. We have peanut butter, maple syrup, oat flour, chickpeas. Everything here is healthy, but if I were to put that into Fitness Pal, um, it's 
really just sugar and carbs. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't eat it, but if you don't log this, um, one tiny little cookie dough bite is the same calories as a cookie. Um, is a cookie better? Of course it is. But if you're trying to lose weight, neither should be consumed um, unless you have the calories for it and you are measuring it. So dangers of cheat meals. 86% of people begin a diet and they believe they should get a cheat day or a cheat meal. Um, and I don't know if, if you still are in that mindset, um, but this is a, a huge setback. Um, you are changing your lifestyle. Of course, you're going to go back and enjoy some of your favorite things, but um, you're not taking a break from this to go back to your old eating habits and um, consume as much as, as you can. That's only going to set you back. Ninety-two percent of people that were recently surveyed, um, and I, I don't have the source. Um, I, I just didn't notice. Um, believe that healthy snacks and treats off of blogs and sites are meant uh, uh, meant to be safe for weight loss. So, ninety-two percent of people surveyed felt that if you take a treat off of Pinterest or Google, and it says healthy treat that it means preservative-free, lower in sugar, and lower in calorie. And by looking at those cookie bites, um, that is extremely false. And here's another one. Um, you know, we see this healthy, gluten-free, 10 minutes, vegan, no bake. I mean, just uh, like everything, even just the no bake makes it that much more exciting, like, oh, yay, I don't have to bake it. Um, and, and if you were to run this through Fitness Pal, um, I can tell you that it would be equivalent to eating a cookie, vegan or not, gluten-free or not, that's irrelevant. So Pinterest is, is an amazing tool. However, it is loaded um, with misinformation. And people that put pins up, of course, want you to grab their pin so they label them with just the right words. Um, cheat days or meals sabotage your efforts. They have negative connotations, um, undocumented loss of control. We justify it as being allowed. So we are going out to dinner, it's my cheat day. So I'll take this and I'll take this and I'll take this, it's allowed. So we, we have completely lost control um, and we have it measured and we assume that that doesn't count, but it certainly does. And um, this is completely the, the mindset. And I had this mindset for years and for years and years and years, I was not able to get out of that, that weight. I would end Friday with my low and start Monday again with that same number and it would just keep going. It just never drops. Um, so um, this is this, this demonstration. And if you watch this last time, um, I was going to actually <clears throat> delete this, but I, I just love this because it's, it's such a great um, uh, demonstration of how easy it is to slip. Um, this is, this is a little demo of somebody that's going out to eat. Um, it's somebody that has planned their night, um, that they're going to Cooper's Hawk. I picked Cooper's Hawk because um, it is, uh, information's all on Fitness Pal. This person has thought about what they're eating because they don't want to derail. This is not a cheat meal. This is a, a splurge night, okay? So two steps forward three steps back. And I want to show you how this happens. And I guarantee you that this is happening to a, a, a large percentage of people um, in, in the program and people that are trying really, really hard, but this is what's happening. So she gets to the restaurant, she orders a glass of wine and she's just going to have her one glass because normally it's keep filling, keep filling, just her one glass. That's it. And she's 
really just being really careful not to drink it all. The bread comes. Now, there is no way she's eating this bread. I mean, it is just her mouth is watering, but uh, she's not going to do it. So after she's had some wine, she caves and just has a, a little sliver of bread. Like I'm talking like just the tiniest sliver of bread, like teeny tiny. And she's so proud of herself because normally it would be just another roll, please, another roll, please, another glass of wine. So she's already ahead of the game. She's super proud of herself. So her husband has to order appetizers. So they agree on the shrimp. Um, it's not deep fried, it's just shrimp. I mean, shrimp is so low in calorie, she knows this. So the shrimp come and she's like, oh gosh, you know, she's sitting there, no bread. <sighs> so she has two shrimp because it's just, it's just two shrimp. Like the great voice, she's like rocking it. Two shrimp, tiny little sliver of bread, fill on the glass of wine. Now wine comes with dinner and she's gonna, she's told herself she's having two glasses of wine. She's still way ahead of the game. Normally it would have been tons of appetizers, praising herself. Dinner comes, she normally would have ordered a pasta dish or some other big extravaganza. So she goes with the, the fish. Um, and clearly by looking at it, it's not breaded. It's the ahi fish. I mean, it's the best choice there by far. She is so excited. Dessert comes and oh, she's just staring at that thing. And she's like, okay, I nailed this. I mean, she barely ate, honestly. She had her glass of wine, a tiny little sliver, two little shrimp, another glass of wine, this little dinner. So she's like, I'm gonna have some of this. I mean, it's, it's so little. So would you all agree that she did pretty good? I mean, under normal circumstances, she's looking around and you got this person here eating the spare ribs and this person here having the, you know, steak with the this and the that and ravioli lasagna. And she's actually sitting there, not even that, that full. So she's thrilled. Well, what she didn't do is she did not look this up before she went. And, and if you watched last week's presentation, that is your biggest mistake. You must always look it up because if it's not in your log, it's a fog. Um, and this is all in Cooper's Hawk, my fitness pal. Um, and so what she should have done is look this up before. And I know this is really small, you can't see it. So I, I did the honors to make it a little bigger for you. Um, one glass of wine was 160. Her tiny little sliver of bread was 84 because this whole big thing is 480 actually, which is ridiculous. Um, two shrimp are 390, which is pathetic. It's just so pathetic. And actually two of them is 730 milligrams of sodium. Why, I don't know. I'm guessing that whatever they're sitting in is pure butter, um, but that's not for us to figure out. So she has her second glass of wine and this ahi uh, tuna not only has 3,000, is it 3,900? 3,000 milligrams of sodium, but 900 calories. And then of course the tiny little reward that she gave herself of cheesecake, 500. So her little dinner was 2,244 calories and 47 milligrams of sodium. And if that's not the saddest story you've ever heard, it's true because this is actually a true story and it happened to me. Um, and it's, it was just sad. And, and what's even sadder is I ran 20 miles that day for a training uh, event. And I was just like, yeah, I'm so happy. And I, I didn't even burn that running 20 miles. I mean, talk about wanting to just like hang myself. I mean, it was just not good. Now, had I looked this up prior, 
um, I would not have had the shrimp. Um, I would have definitely kept the two glasses of wine. <laughs> um, I would have not had the, the, the cake. And there is an ahi tuna um, entree on the light menu at Cooper's Hawk that's only 390 calories. And I'm guessing they just prepare it different. So, so perfect example. Um, and you can say all you want that you ate good when you went out to eat, but until you look at it, and that's assuming also that the wait staff prepared it exactly the way Cooper's Hawk um, uh, serving sizes are and everything else. Um, there was a study done um, in one of, one of the books that I read um, where they, uh, they went into restaurants and took the food into a, a, a food lab and measured it uh, the, the scientific way and most calories were also off. So that 900 calorie dish is more than likely more than that. Um, so it, it, it's, it's a mess. Um, so be careful with that. All right, so don't cheat, have a treat. And you just need to have a plan, that's all. You just have to have a plan, and like I said last week, you almost have to you you almost have to treat the um, the wait staff sternly and just say, "Look, I need you to make sure that there there is no butter prepared with this. I need you to make sure that my salad doesn't have dressing on it, um, because the salad comes with dressing, and you feel bad telling them to send it back. Um, don't be mindless, um, because enough mindless things are going to add up." Um, don't have it because it's there, um, like the cheesecake. Um, I was at a baby shower on Sunday and they had a buffet table, literally the size of uh, two grocery store aisles of sweets. And they still passed out cake. And I literally sat there at the table and watched everyone eat the cake because they served it to them. And I, I, I just, wanted to go, did, did anybody really even want that? <laughs> I mean, I would never have, of course, but then they all got up and got sweets. And it's just interesting how we do that, how we just, it's there, so hey, I'll just eat it and then get up and get a platter of, of cookies. Calories still count. Um, and, and certainly um, you need to be aware of that. All right, so perfect Pilates patty. Um, these are our little characters. Um, and so uh, oh, before I do this, I want to uh, really quick go and show you the snacks. Um, so the, the treats that are maybe not exactly healthy. Um, this site here, Love and Lev Lemons is is amazing. I mean, they, whoever puts it together, I don't know if it's a whole staff, but their recipes are just amazing. But every single one of them is loaded in fat and calories. And I'm, and I'm not knocking them because again, I'm, it, it's a gorgeous site. But every single one, if you go into healthy, and uh, is there a search here? Let me put in healthy snack, all well, that came up. Um, yes, it's healthy. All of the ingredients are healthy, but if I were to actually put this into Fitness Pal, um, we, we have candy. Um, and I, I know that you can have these, of course. I mean, this, look at this, peanut butter chocolate chip cookie bars. Um, this to me is a cookie. It's a cookie. Um, is this better than having a, a Toll House cookie? I, I actually don't even know. It might actually be equivalent. Um, so, so when people go on Pinterest and put in, you know, healthy, and again, Pinterest, love it. Love, love, love it. But a lot of the recipes that you guys eat um, on your plan, I get off of here. But what I do is I recreate them and I, I dissect them and I pull them apart. And, and every once in a while, you guys catch my, my mistakes where I might have 
forgot the word sugar in there because I, I will dissect it and I'll take out the sugar and I'll plug in um, protein powder instead to, to, to make it um, healthier. But just going through here, all of these, I mean, how, how, how is this? And I mean, my, my keywords were healthy. Um, we have quick oats, peanut butter, M&Ms, now, again, would I give this to my kids? Of course I would. Um, is this better than eating uh, you know, chips? Absolutely. But if you're trying to lose weight, um, if you have blood sugar issues, if you have cholesterol issues, you should not be eating this. Um, and, and I mean, this goes on forever. Um, and, and not even just as far as uh, wheat go. Um, this also includes foods. Um, I've had somebody, I, this happens all the time. Oh, here's one. Um, something like this. Um, I, I would have to dissect it, but I've had people say to me, Hey, can you, can I have this? And I'll look at it and it'll have, you know, tons of quinoa, black beans. Um, it'll have like triple fat. It'll have, you know, the olive oil, the, um, nuts and the avocado. Those are great, but you can't have all three. So now our calories are through the roof. It's got 80 grams of fat. It's healthy, but it's healthy on steroids. You, just, you, you, you can eat like a quarter cup of it. It's like trail mix. <laughs> so, so you have to be careful. Um, this is not um, a treat. This is, you're cheating yourself. So eyes wide open. Um, and, and I'll get back to my characters now because this and if you watch this presentation before, I'm going to give it a different, um, I'm going to give it a different uh, twist. Um, and if you didn't watch this presentation before, you'll have to go back and watch the one that's online. Because um, Perfect Patty's Pilates Patty, um, what she does, what she does here is in the green, she eats perfect, right on plan, boom, boom, boom. But her snacks here are citrus snacks. She's eating those M&M &M oat balls and she's really not measuring them. And believe it or not, even my own energy balls that I have on, on my blog, because I have in big letters, careful, these are very caloric. They're a hundred calories each. And I could easily sit down and eat five. And I have. <laughs> and if you've read my book, I've, I've eaten like 20 in a row before. They're, they're addicting. Um, well, this is what she did. She would just, these were her little treats and she would eat three in the morning and two in the afternoon and, and they added up. So every day she ate perfect. She put everything on the food scale, but she had her little five little m and -M bites or six or four or two. And despite the fact that she went to Pilates five days a week. Um, in the end, what's in green was where she broke even. Uh, what's in red was she went over her budget in calories. Um, what's in yellow is what she burned. So ultimately she was 2,100 uh, calories over, which meant she gained weight. And so this is somebody that is 156, 157, 158, 156, 157, 158, 156, 157, 158. Irene, I'm doing, I'm just, I'm eating so good. And you know, look at her log and it's perfect. And, and I'll even be ripping my hair out like, gosh, what's, what is going on? It's perfect. But maybe she's not logging the bites or it's really a gray area. And yes, it's all healthy, but it's not a treat. So she's definitely cheating herself. Then we have two steps forward, fierce feeling. Um, and, and this one's really common. I see this all the time. Um, I actually had a better name for her. Um, I came up with it over the weekend. Uh, someone came up with it for me and I forgot it. Um, so this person is spot on. Boom, like, look at this, great day. I worked out, 
went to Orange Theory, then I did a couple classes, burnt a thousand calories next day. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Went running seven miles, awesome. Next day, yeah, not so much. We had a junk food day. It was some, um, you know, Starbucks and some Chipotle and, and you guys know calories add up. So next day, feel like crap. So get up, run 10 miles. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And Fiona just loves junk food. So back at it, you know, some Twinkies, some, <laughs> um, you know, candy, some just old habits. But then right back to clean, clean eating, clean right away. So in her head, she just does not understand why she's not losing weight. Well, despite all this calorie burn, she, she's 9,000 calories over her budget, which is a 4,600 calorie gain. And this person is just treading water. It's 191, 190, 191, 190, 191, 190, the whole time. Because clearly you could see what's happening. And the worst part of this is because they're having three really good days in a row, they forget that this happened. And this is what I say. Tuesday, you went shopping and you overdrafted your credit card. You're in debt. It is going to take you two weeks to pay off this red. It's not going to go away because you had three good days. Get it? Three good days is three good days. But if you go shopping on Tuesday and you spend thousands of dollars and you don't earn it back in three days, which it takes you a lot more than three days to earn it back, but then you go shopping again, you're, you're just constantly in debt. You have to get ahead. And in this case, this person never does because they, they are, are actually being too strict, too strict, too strict. They're not allowing for that little splurge in there, that little, you know, I've always said 10%, have a glass of wine, have a cookie. Um, well, mine's right here. I'm, I'm saving it for after. My husband's like, what are you doing with that wine? I go, when I shut down, I'm going to have a glass of wine. So look at what it says. What would Irene do? Irene would drink wine as soon as her Zoom session's over. <laughs> so, so does this make sense? You are still in debt. Now, if, if two steps forward, Fierce Fiona stopped having red days, then she starts to see the loss. And just like I said last week, it's like having a frost in May. Um, if you have one frost in May, your garden isn't going to die. The plants aren't going to freeze and, and, and die. But in her case, she's having frosts that twice a week. She's never going to see the flowers. Flowers are never going to grow. Okay. Oh, I thought I took this out. Well, this was me when I was uh, two steps forward, two steps back. Um, this was in 2010. Um, and you could see here, I was uh, 35 pounds heavier. Um, and all I did was run, 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 run. I'd have great eating days and then I would eat. And it wasn't like I was eating bad, but I was just like, I, I needed calories. I'm like, I'm running. I need, I need to eat. And so, you know, two bananas and peanut butter on them, which had no nutritional value as far as balance goes. And I could not lose weight. Um, I ran fast though, <laughs> but I just couldn't lose weight. Um, and it was, it was really, really hard. All right, so now we have committed to cheat day, Charlotte. And this person here, um, it, it just doesn't have it right. And this person has the mindset of, I'm gonna have my cheat day. Um, I'm gonna eat really good all week long. Um, I'm not gonna have my wine. I'm not gonna have my cookies. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say no to everything. Um, but then on Saturday, it's 
field day. It's it's I'm not logging anything. It's it's out to breakfast. It's go out to lunch. It's candy. It's whatever. Um, and that quickly adds up. Um, and, and you can see here that she's actually gaining weight um, from one day. And, and again, this is an example of that debt. That, that, that. Uh, this person's going to take a while to pay off the debt. And, and again, her mindset, and I, I, I literally, I used to train a lady that had this mindset. Well, I eat so good during the week and I, I, I don't like to deprive myself. So I, I deserve to have a day. And I'm like, Okay. I mean, if that, if that's what you think, then you're going to be that weight for the rest of your life. You deserve to have a treat. It doesn't have to be a, a, a day of eat what you want. Again, the mindset. So, so what is somebody to do? Realistic, sustainable daily. Um, uh, this is the same person as slow, slow start Sally. <laughs> She's a star student. Um, realistic Sally sticks to the plan. She doesn't over exercise. I mean, she exercises because she wants to, she doesn't do it to, to burn the calories so she could eat more. Um, but when she wants to have a treat, she has it, but she doesn't go overboard. And unlike perfect Patty, who, who goes off track and then decides to stay off track. If this was perfect Patty, it would be thousand calories red and this would all be red because perfect Patty would just stay off track. So sustainable Sally, let me tell you what she did. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday is all good. Wednesday, she's meeting her girlfriends and they're going out to lunch. And uh, this is the same story I told last time. So uh, if you've heard this already, um, all the friends go out to lunch and she's planning on eating a salad. She loves her salads. She's looked it up um, on the menu. She's already put it in fitness pal. She's planning on having her 390 calorie salad and all is good. Well, she gets there and her girlfriends just all start ordering these gourmet burgers that are on the menu. So this one orders a burger, this one orders a burger, 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 and she's truly wanting a burger. So she's sitting there going, I want a burger. So she takes out her phone. She looks up on fitness pal, how much a burger is. She finds quickly that a, a burger sadly is 1200 calories, 1500 with the fries. So she decides that's too much. So what she does is she modifies no mayo, no cheese. Those are not essentials. She knows the bun is carb. She can have the carb. She knows the burger is the protein. Um, she knows the fries are outrageous, but she also wants a few. So she figures out the burger with 10 ish fries is about a thousand calories. Is that right? Wrong? I don't know, but it's close. So she eats the burger and it is damn good. <laughs> and it's just so good. And she's full. She's fulfilled. She had a great lunch with her friends. And um, she set the fries away. She ate her 10, great day. Uh, she doesn't need a snack because she ate this huge burger. Her dinner that night was lighter because she had a, a, this burger. She just truthfully was not as hungry. Um, years prior, she would have sabotaged herself and eaten garbage because she would have felt bad for having a burger, but she's learned um, that her body doesn't need to uh, react that way or her mind doesn't need to react that way. She gets up the next day, right back to Thursday, right back onto her routine, right back to Saturday, right back to Sunday. And by looking at her numbers, you could see that even though she had a thousand calorie burger in the middle of her week, um, with her exercising, which is not crazy, I mean, this is just a minuscule uh, amount of exercise, she still lost 900, uh, she was still under by 900 calories, which comes out to a pound loss um, in the end per month. And I know that, or is that per week or per month? The, the thing is covering here, I can't see. 
uh, per month. So, so this is the way to go. Um, and, and once your metabolism starts kicking in, and there are people that are listening right now who have a metabolism that's kicked in, you could do this and literally not gain. Just like she didn't gain, she's still losing actually. Once you get to maintenance, you could do this often. Um, now, typically what happens is people start testing the waters and they'll start doing that more than once a week. And what happens then is that scale starts going up. And um, that's when you know, okay, I can't do this twice a week. That's when you got to tame it back. Um, I've tested the waters, my weight's gone up. Um, so, you know, it, it, you're, you're never invincible to weight gain, no matter who you are. Um, and, and this is coming from someone that has, that runs a lot. So, so you have to always report to that warden, get on that scale, see how it reacts. Perhaps the next day she might've been up from that burger, sodium and just mass from the, the heaviness of it. But in the end, came back down. And, and that is the way to be realistic. Um, and it doesn't have to be a burger. Um, it could be a, a ice cream cone. Um, for years and years and years, I would take my kids, four of them, go out for ice cream. I would never get ice cream. But instead, I would take bites of theirs, all four of them. My gosh, I should have just gotten my own because by the time I took bites of all four of theirs, multiple times, I mean, who are we kidding? Um, my favorite, Starbucks. One gets the, you know, Oreo latte. The other one gets the birthday cake latte. The other one gets the, and I'm over here taking sips out of each of theirs that it literally equaled 800 calories. You know, we don't think of those things as, as counting. Whereas if I would just look up on Fitness Pal that a grande Java chip light is 220 calories and have that. Plug it in, make that your treat. That's the difference. Instead of mindlessly drinking sips and not calculating it again, it's not in the log, it's a fog, but it still counts. So big, big, big eye opener for me and for a lot of people. So tips for successful splurges, plan them. Um, don't ever have a splurge that's not planned because if you if you if you don't plan it, um, then it's it's a free for all, um, and you're you're like anything else, your mind just loses control. Um, log the calories. If you go over, it's okay. Um, if it, if it's a little splurge, a daily splurge, um, and it's something that you want to fit into your calories, like your glass of wine. Um, or a, um, a zucchini brownie that's on the plan, you know, that could fit into your calories. But if it's, if it's a splurge because it's a weekend, a barbecue, a birthday party, a, a, an event, um, you can go over, um, but still log it because you, you should see how much you're going over. Don't be blind to it. You turn your head, it's, then you're really going over. Um, Allow yourself to have a splurge when you want it, not when someone guilts you into it. There's a lot of um, food pushers out there and uh, don't, don't feel like you should eat it because it's being pushed on you. You can always put it on your plate, have some of it, don't be guilted into it. Um, a, a, a splurge should be one meal, not a day. That's, that's huge. Um, don't let that spill into a, a day, then a weekend. Uh, don't ever go into a splurge hungry. Um, this is probably the most important one. If you're going to have a splurge, if you're going to go out to dinner, if you're going to have your, um, you know, hamburger, make sure that you eat normally going up into it. So for example, pizza night, don't do what I did for years and, and eat, you know, lettuce all day <laughs> and then go out for pizza. You're only going to overeat. Treat the day normal. And then in fact, before you go out, have a binge blocker and the binge blockers are in your, um, uh, uh, your startup guide, but it's basically 25 grams of protein and uh, 15 grams of healthy fat. 
um, because that is not gonna take up a lot of space in your stomach. And you, about two hours later, you aren't going to want to eat as much. Um, you might even get to the burger and eat half, that's perfect. Then it's only 500 calories and you got to eat your burger. No one says you have to eat the whole thing to enjoy yourself. Um, and I binge block all the time when I go out to eat. I will have my, the sure proof binge block is, is um, cottage cheese and avocado. I mean, that's like, it, it, you are full or, or tuna fish and avocado, you know, something that's really filling but doesn't take up a lot of space. So you're not gonna make this huge salad so that you're literally stuffed. Um, but it's enough where you're not gonna to wanna to eat the bread. You're not gonna to wanna to eat the appetizers. Appetizers, if you think about it, and um, when you go out to eat, most of the time appetizers are as big as your meals when you're eating at home. I mean, it's just, it's silly to sit there and eat that many calories. Um, report to the warden and weigh in. Um, it, it's always going to be higher after you splurge, but you guys all know now how that works. And if you just started, if you just joined, I had some people do an early start for summer, those fluctuations just become, you get used to them. Um, you'll start laughing at them because it's like, really, how could I have gone up that much? But then they go right back down. Um, and then modern, monitor your weight patterns to uh, determine frequency of splurges. So. If you still have a lot of weight to lose, obviously don't have splurges weekly. Um, once you are closer to your goal or at your goal, splurge away. Um, but get on that scale and report to that warden because I am telling you right now, I'm a broken record. I have seen people gain back weight that have done my program before my eyes who literally have, have I, I, I swear I'm never going to gain this weight back. And then they, they secretly hide from me. And then they come back and go, I gained it all back. Um, and it, 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 it happens because we don't monitor our weight patterns. If you are getting on that scale and facing that music, it, you, you are more than likely not going to gain it back. Um, so some examples of splurges, and these pictures are not the best, so I apologize. Go out to breakfast, have an omelet. You know, have an omelet with real, you know, cheese. Don't do the, I'll take egg whites and, and butter, you know, go, go out to breakfast, have an omelet. Like, whoa, that's like a great splurge. Um, you know, go have French fries. You know, a, a splurge doesn't have to be this grand, buffet it could be just you might just be satisfied with the french fries one of my splurges once was a salad with like all the fixings like all the fixings oh my god it was so good i mean granted it was like 1500 calories but it was good it was like whoa when do you ever have a salad like that popcorn like movie movie theater style popcorn um not the air pop kind that we are so used to eating i mean the last time i had movie theater popcorn that could be a splurge or sushi that's like sushi, sushi. I mean, I usually just get the basic, that could be a splurge. It could just be a candy bar. You know, it doesn't, don't feel that you have to get in everything that you haven't had. Um, the mindset of that needs to change. and. And everybody that I have helped um, and, and most people that have been, been successful um, have changed that mindset. The mindset shouldn't be, I've been deprived, so I'm gonna fulfill myself right now by eating everything I can. Like your mindset should be different. Um, I, I was just talking to somebody the other day that always rewards themselves with food when they lose weight. And that's another thing, you know, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds, so we're gonna go out to dinner. Um, we usually treat ourselves to blah, blah, blah every time we meet a weight goal. Again, that's such a contradiction. Um, we need to change that, that way of thinking because um, it's so contradictory. So, um, and then as far as going on and picking out uh, uh, recipes on your own, 
Um, if you're brand new tier one, tier two people, um, I typically say you're, you're just too new to be able to do that. Um, but the bottom line is run it through Fitness Pal and the writing will be on the wall there for sure, because you'll, you, you will definitely see the difference. Questions? No questions? Come on. No one's gonna ask any questions. Has anybody, uh, those of you that have been in the program for a while, I see some of you that have lost quite a bit of weight. Tina, I'm gonna pick on you. Um, uh, was it eye-opening for you to start going out to eat? And how did you, how did you balance, how did you find balance in that? Um, I did oh. take your advice. Mm -hmm. Um, so like after watching, oh gosh, a couple of weeks ago when you were talking about like, um, the different food types. So this past weekend for mother's day, we went to walk and fire. I had sushi. I took your advice. I did the mm -hmm. California roll. Mm -hmm. So that was my main meal, uh -huh. but my favorite roll is the St. Charles roll that has all the, you know, fixings on it. So yeah. I had, I think three pieces of the St. Mm -hmm. Charles roll. Yep. So I did really good on Mother's Day. It was my Saturday that was more of a, didn't have a binge blogger, went into a birthday party hungry. I was starving by the time food came out. And that was my big old speed bump in the road. Okay. But I do, I do, I look at the next meal mm -hmm. as an opportunity to make the right choices. And I just try to move on from it and I don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. I was up like two pounds on Monday. Mm -hmm. I still reported to the warden. I'm yep. down back down to where I was going into my Saturday and I'll be back down and stay down for a while yep. now. Perfect. So, and that, and that's, that's, I forgot to mention that, you know, when you are wanting something like sushi or, or even, um, of course those shrimp, that was a bad example. Cause who would think that one of them would be 200 calories, but, but, you know, it, you can always have a sample of something instead of eating, you know, ordering a, a huge one for yourself um, and still, still enjoy it. Um, uh, one, one thing too uh, that I wanna mention um, that I didn't mention, and this is, this is a little trick that I use um, it's in my book. Um, when you are going to a party or a restaurant or uh, in a situation where you go and you're hungry um, especially if you haven't binge blocked. Um, the first thing that touches your lips, the very first thing that touches your lips, your palate is going to want th those flavors. You are, I, I, I say you are married to that for the, for the evening. Um, and so uh, one example, a uh, personal example is my brother um, who is awesome and he gives puts on these awesome parties. Um, I would go there and the very first thing I'd wander over the table and he makes this amazing guacamole and I would just right away guacamole and that was it. You know, the taste buds wanted guacamole and I could not get away from it. It was just guacamole. I mean, I would try, I would like rinse my mouth out, chew gum, nope. I just needed to keep eating guacamole. So, so I know that that is my danger, like can't have it. Um, that doesn't mean I, I don't have it ever, but when I go to his party, I, the first thing I touch is a, a vegetable, a, something else, because my palate will be acclimated to that. Um, and the same thing goes with when you bust in the door at three o'clock and it's that witching hour. Um, if you grab a, a, one potato chip, then it's salt, it's, you are gonna keep going. So it, instead, grab a, if you grab a grape, that you're not gonna want the potato chip. It's, it's a conflict of flavors. It's sour, it's, you know, um, not that I want you eating a hundred grapes either, but be aware of that when you are on that like, ooh, I'm gonna eat because it's that first thing. So, so be prepared. 
have whatever you're going to eat ready in the refrigerator, because that's going to be the literally what you're going to keep eating. Um, and um, with, with the binge block, not having the binge blocker, um, those hunger hormones get set off. If you binge block, it's not going to be as bad. And the binge blocker, I mean, I've gone uh, to parties before where I've literally sat there and went, I don't think I want to eat anything. And, and some of these parties, I shouldn't eat anything because it's like, you know, the hot dog coleslaw parties. So it's the score. I, I make it home till I could eat again. So, perfect. And how much have you lost, Tina? Um, so at, at my lowest, which is within two pounds. I, I'm down a total since I started my weight loss last May of 37 pounds. Pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Very cool. Um, anyone else? Hey. Kathy. No, hi. I don't really have a question um, about the kind of anyway. Okay. The Greek yogurt. I'm used to doing like the Chia Bani. I didn't do like the mix-ins, but it had vanilla in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've been doing the Oikos, um, the non-fat um, that is like 90 calories, I think the regular Greek yogurt but it's so tart. Can I add stevia to that? Is it okay to add a oh, pack yeah. of stevia yeah. to that to cut that? Because yeah. even with the berries, it's mm -hmm. still it's like so tart. And I'm yeah. like, woo. So, a um, couple things. It, it, uh, why is it only 90 calories? Maybe it's more. I can't remember. Just make sure the protein's uh, 25 for the a cup. Blue, it's the blue. Um, I'll have to look. I'll make sure. Okay. So okay. I, I know it's higher than two grams. I think it might be eight, 12. It's higher than, it's good Greek yogurt. Okay, send, uh, send, me, send me the- Okay, I will. Yeah. Um, I will. So with the Greek yogurt, um, uh, you could also add um, some almond milk in there. Oh, uh, I never thought about that. Yeah, um, but you could always sweeten it. Um, and have you tried the stevia drops? Oh, those are I so have, good. I was going to just suggest that those sweet drops. Oh, yep. they're awesome. I use it all the time. Yep. That, that almost gives it a vanilla because those are vanilla and they're, they, that will make it taste just like the vanilla. Okay. I'll try this stevia. I just happen to have stevia, oh, yeah. on hand, but I'll try the drops. If yep. That yep. Makes it and then better. my other big trick is um, the Okios and Fage. Um, uh, or really any of the more expensive ones um, are, are going to be more tart and they're going to be more thick. So if you buy generic brands like the Walmart brand or Aldi, um, they're nowhere near as tart and they're, they're not as, as uh, thick. So I tell people that don't like that consistency to, to buy the generic. Like yeah, because I don't mind, I don't mind, um, I don't mind the thickness. It's that tart. I wasn't tart. ready for the tart because yeah. I was not used to the tart. Yeah. And I've kind of gotten used to it, but it's like, I'll try the drops because yeah, try the drops. it's nice to not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I use the drops in yogurt.